till the end of this video you will understand what integration actually is why do we need it and what is its relation with differentiation so let's begin hello geniuses so before starting this video i just want to tell you that if you have not seen the differentiation for wegener's part 1 and part 2 and you have no idea on what differentiation is then you should watch those two videos before watching this video okay integration was formed to find out the area bounded by the graph of a function when i first learned this a question came into my mind like what is so important in finding out the area bounded by a curve like there is a whole branch of mathematics dealing with that so let us first understand that so for that take a look at this graph in this graph the x axis represents the time and the y axis represents the speed of a body so let us say a body is moving with a constant speed so it would look like this okay now from this graph we need to find the distance traveled by the body at time t so how do we do it so it's really simple see speed is equal to distance traveled divided by time taken to travel that distance okay as simple as that so distance traveled will be equal to speed into time so simple so from this graph where is that see the length of the y axis is representing the speed of the body and the length of x axis represents the time taken by the body so distance traveled at time c will be what it is really simple the speed at c which is the length of y axis which is oa times the time taken by the body which is oc so oa times oc is what in here it is the area of this rectangle so the area of this rectangle is giving us the distance traveled by the body so from here we can see that if we draw the speed versus time graph of any body the area under that curve will give us the distance traveled by the body which is a really important quantity and like this in physics there are a lots and lots of quantities which are simply the area under a curve of some other functions okay so this is why integral calculus is really important in physics because we need the area under the curve but see we were able to find the area under the curve what is the problem in here till now we are really good at it see we found the area accurately so now here comes the problem what is the speed versus time graph is not like this what if it is like this now we can't just multiply the breadth into the length to find out the area because in this the speed is not constant it is changing with time so in earlier times this was one of the biggest problems for mathematicians and physicists one method they used is this they said let us just slice this graph to small 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 rectangles and find their area and then add them up to find out the area under this curve which is a really good method if we take a lots and lots of slices this numerical method for calculating the area under the curve is called the trapezoidal rule and these days computers use this method to find out an integration this is because for computers it is really easy to do a lot and lot of calculations find out the length into breadth of small small rectangles but for humans to do it on paper it was really difficult and the inaccuracies were large so we needed to find a simpler method to find the integral of a function now for a moment leave this question aside and let us understand what do we mean when we say indefinite integration of a function now for a moment take integration as just a name we will connect it to the area under the curve later okay so it is a really simple concept let us learn it by an example differentiation of sin x is cos x right so the integration of cos x will be sin x so integration of a function is a function whose derivative is that function it self so it is just the opposite of differentiation and that is why it is also called anti derivative okay 
and from the name it is also clear like integration is like joining things and differentiation is separating things okay but in explaining this i just miss something see differentiation of a constant is what always zero so if i differentiate sin x plus c i will also get cos x so the integration of cos x will not be sin x it will be sin x plus c this constant is really important in indefinite integrations and a lot of students forget to add this constant in their answers and it gets wrong okay so always remember to add this constant in here and this constant is not determined yet and that is why this integration is called indefinite integration okay now we have two concepts in here area under the curve and indefinite integration now let us join these two there was a mathematical theorem which was proposed which is quite difficult to the level of this video so i won't cover that in this video it was proved that the difference between the antiderivative of a function is simply the area bounded by that function which was a really amazing discovery so let us take a simple example see the derivative of x raised to the power 5 plus c where c is a constant is what it is simple 5x raised to the power 4 so now the integration of 5x raised to the power 4 is what x raised to the power 5 plus c so now let us say we have a curve which is simply 5x raised to the power 4 which is this now we need to find the area of this curve bounded between 1 and 2 it is really simple its integration is x raised to the power 5 plus c now to find out the area we write it like this x raised to the power 5 plus c with this vertical line and at bottom we write the lower limit which is 1 and at top we write the upper limit which is 2 so it is evaluated like this the upper limit minus the lower limit by saying the upper limit i mean put the value of the upper limit into the function which is 2 raised to the power 5 plus c minus 1 raised to the power 5 plus c now this integration in which we are putting the limits is called the definite integration and you can see in here the constants are getting cancelled so in definite integration we do not write constants okay because it is definite we don't have constants in here so 2 raised to the power 5 minus 1 raised to the power 5 2 raised to the power 5 is 32 minus 1 which is 31 so 31 square unit is the area bounded by 5 x raised to the power 4 function between points 1 and 2 now i just want to tell you that this relation between the differentiation that means the slope of the tangent and to the integration that is the area under the curve is one of the greatest discoveries in the history of mathematics and due to this discovery a lot of progress was made in physics too so i hope you have understood what integration actually is why do we need it and what is its relation with differentiation in the next video we will go more practical and learn how to solve integration questions learn various techniques and talk more about integration so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything